Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Pure Chat. This is a follow-up video to my Pure Perms uh, plugin tutorial, which I did uh, was my last video. That is linked in the description and in the top right hand corner right now. So basically Pure Chat, um, basically, so you need Pure Perms. So if you've not already watched my Pure Perms tutorial, then go and watch that one now, then come back to this one. This Pure Chat tutorial will show you how to configure how players name tag look and how it looks when they chat in chat. So this is like when you go on a big server, um, like Fool and Tech or Hive or whatever, how they've got all these different name tags and how they can make players name tags say different things. It won't be this exact plugin, but this is what it does basically. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to do all of that today, how to set it to groups, how to do it all individually, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get right. Let's go right to it. First of all, make sure you subscribe. Um, lots of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you're watching this, subscribe. Go check out my um, plugin tutorials playlist. There might be some other plugins you find on there that you want. Um, so yeah, definitely check out my playlist and make sure you subscribe. Leave a like on the video and all of that good stuff. So basically, with Pure Chat, there are um, four commands, and then there's some stuff you can do in the config files, which I might show later on in the video. So first commands, um, they're all slash set, and you can see there's quite a few plugins which we're going with slash set. So slash name tag is to set the default name tag of a pure perms group. So obviously you need pure perms for this to work. Then we've got set format, which is how they chat. So for example, when I say hi, you can see it says owner JJ Birdman YT. Hi. Basically, you can configure this. This is the default pure chat configuration. It's worth pointing out. There are default configurations. What's also really, really amazing about pure perms is you can use data from Factions. So if you've got a Factions plugin like Factions Pro, uh, then in the config you can say yes, I have Factions Pro, and it will it will put the faction name in front of the player and the faction rank in front of the player. So that is a really cool feature you can do as well. That will be in the config files. And then the other commands are slash set suffix and slash set prefix. So you can actually set players as suffixes and prefixes, which is another thing that you can alter for them. Um, I'd say suffixes and prefixes are not like this owner here. It's like more specific. I tend not to use them because they can be a bit complicated, but, you know, so for the sake of the tutorial, probably not going to cover that that much but if you want to check that out look on the pocket page try it for yourself it basically you have to set it so it says prefix and suffix before and after your name for it to work um but yeah let's get started and just give you an example so remember if you've got uh peerpems slash groups lists all of the groups you've got so these are all the groups i've got at the minute so guys just quickly i'd actually gonna say the really i'd recommend setting your name tag and um chat formats in the config files which i'm gonna you know obviously go through in a minute uh because in game it can get complicated and you know it's kind of difficult to do but do check in game if you like how you're thinking of making your chat format look so you know for example if i was gonna make it look um like this then i would just check mm, do i think that was gonna look good yeah, that'll look fine, and then go put it in the config files. The only commands you want to be doing in games are setting suffixes and prefixes, which is basically, you have to configure that in the config files anyway. So, like I said, let's go over to the config files now, and I'll show you how to change the chat format and name tag format. Okay, so basically, um, once you're on your config files, uh, I'm just on a 302 NOS over here, so that's why I'm... On this page, it'll be in your plugin data folder, your pure chat folder, and then this should be the only file in your pure chat folder, the config.yml. You click on it, you should be able to edit this file. So I'm going to run through these options. This is just your pure chat version, don't mess with this one. This is the default factions plugin. So, like I was saying, you can change uh, faction rank and faction name. You can make it show up in people's name tags and uh, chat tags. So Whatever factions plugin you're using, if any, then put that one there. Um, you, If you don't have a factions plugin, it will just detect you don't have a factions plugin or they're not in a faction or whatever, nothing will show. 
So don't worry, you don't need to leave this blank, you can just leave it as its default, which is Factions Pro. Uh, enable multi-world chat here. This is basically going to be whether or not there's different chats in different worlds. So uh, whether or not there's different kind of name tags and chats in different world, like you can see there's worlds brackets here, you'd put which world in. Uh, and this could also be whether there, there's different chat channels, you know what I mean? So that's what that means here. Uh, that was what I did a minute ago, I was messing around there. Okay, so basically you'll start and you will have your default groups all in here which you can configure. So um, as you see in this plugin, uh, the symbols, the AND symbols, um, are used for colour coding. Uh, in Minecraft, obviously, they are not, but if you want to check out my video on colour coding in Minecraft, that will definitely help you out. You really want to be doing that if you're configuring all of this, so watch my video on that, linked in the description and in the top right-hand corner now. Okay, so, once you've watched that, um, basically, you're going to have to configure these... These, these lines, these chat things. So as you can see, there's these brackets here, and then they have either display name or message or faction rank, faction name, whatever. What's really important is that you remember display name and message, because otherwise their message won't show up if there's no message, and equally their name won't show up if there's no display name. So those are the two important things you want. Then you can obviously add the group with whatever colour you want it to be. Factions, if you're doing factions, you can add them. And you can also add suffix, make sure you're using the right brackets. And prefix, if you want to do that, and then you can individually set suffixes and prefixes for individual players. So you can also do that as well if you want. The name tag, kind of the same thing. Uh, I recommend not making your name tags too long. You don't need a message this time because this is what goes on top of the head. So if you want to have faction rank and faction name or suffix or whatever, you can do that. But I'd, I'd probably recommend not making it too big because then it's just a bit annoying. Uh, so yeah, that's all good there. Change it obviously to be whatever you want. And then it's the same for all of these. And you can choose which worlds it's active in. Just this is default and it will be active in all worlds like this. Otherwise you need to do one for each thing. But when you add a new group, this will not automatically update. So if I add a VIP group, I have to come in here and I have to type VIP. And I have to copy the format of the previous ones. Chat equals, and then put it into the quotations at, you know, whatever colors you want, VIP and then you can add the rest. So basically if you add a new group you're gonna need to copy, obviously you can just copy and paste it and change the things if you want. But yeah, that's basically what there is to this plugin and then you can set the suffixes and prefixes in the game with slash set suffix and slash set prefix. Once you get to know it it's actually pretty simple, it's just getting to grips with it and learning all of the color codes and all of that stuff. Again, see my video to learn that. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, to be honest. Don't forget to save once you're done, and then reload your server, restart your server, and it'll be taking effect when your players join. They will get these chat name tags, you know, all of this stuff, basically. It's that simple. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch my other videos on more plugins, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!